quiet, people. Settle down. Because it's time. Time for what? Showtime. When does it start? Right now. Three, two, one. Let's get on with the show. Mornings with JT. You know what? You know what I would do in an airport? What? I would make comfortable places to sleep because you always have to wait, right? <laughs> Well, you must fly Air Canada a lot. <laughs> no, but on the couple times that I did in the Toronto airport, there is nowhere to sleep. I say uh, airports get sponsored by CERTA and just throw a couple of queen-size pillow tops in there. Oh, and uh, bonus. Yeah. <laughs> but that could get kind of gross. I expect to be tucked in as well. <laughs> Good luck. And I would like Morgan Freeman to read me a bedtime story. Once upon a time, there was a goat named Clarence. <laughs> Hi. Hi, who's what this? Who am I? What's your name? My name is Pearl. Pearl, you're number nine. No way. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Finally. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> it's, oh, I can't believe it. Well, you better believe it because you are $250 richer. Oh, I so need that. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, it gets, be- it gets better, Pearl, because your name goes into that draw for the all-expenses-paid trip to... Dominican Republic. Oh! <laughs> I can't wait. Oh! oh, thank you so much. That's so exciting. I'm going to be on pins and needles all week. Yeah, that draw is coming up on Monday, and you have a one in eight chance to win that trip, and uh, you'll be staying at the beautiful Ocean Blue in Punta Cana. Oh, sounds great. Congratulations. Thank you. Heaven must be missing an angel. Good morning. You guys are great. But the answer is cuddling? No, it's not cuddling. But do you like to cuddle? Yes. Or do you like what cuddling leads into? Um, a little bit of both. It's the, when you cuddle, you, you can communicate a little bit better because you're close, you're in each other's space, oh. right? So the conversation and just the touching. Man, is it just me or is it getting hot in here? <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are fabulous. I've moved from Vancouver to Alberta about a year ago. And I found your guys' station, and I haven't changed the channel, so... Well, that's terrific. Mm-hmm. But I still want to know why my windows are steaming up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so funny. I, I, I'm thinking yellow and green. I had one. I'm pretty sure mine was yellow. Yeah, you know, I don't remember the yellow ones. I remember my sister had the green one, the turquoise one. And you still have it? Oh, I wish. So I used to just mix up flour and water and bake it in there. I think that's what my sister did. And I've never been yeah. the same since. It was disgusting. <laughs> yeah. And I, I think that's why I've grown a tail. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. How about the drive-ins, man, you know? Do you remember some of your friends growing inside the trunks? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> used to get in four or five guys or girls in there. and What are you talking about? That's the way I, I travel when I go to the mall. <laughs> awesome. I want to party with you. Uh, and I knew I should not have dated a girl with the last name Soprano. <laughs> Nikki arrives and Juan Pablo gives the least romantic response to an I love you in Bachelor history. I love you a lot. A lot. Why on earth would anybody say I love you on live TV anyways if it's not been said before? Where's the morals and where's no, the, out the, window. the self-respect? They're gone. I think that's probably on the application when you apply for the show. You have no morals. <laughs> Check. Okay, we'll take you. <laughs> yeah, you've got no morals, no self-respect. Come on in! <laughs> Welcome to the mansion! <laughs> My first record record was Beatles Help. I need somebody help. On vinyl. You betcha. And it was a warped one, too. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you leave it in the sun. No, that's how I bought it. That's how you bought it? Yeah, I took it out of the thing and it just, it was the curviest thing I've ever seen. You talking about the record or your wife? No, no, <laughs> the record. Hello, are you still looking for the most annoying songs of all time? Yeah, what's yours? Crimson and Clover. I'm afraid to say if it's on the radio, I change the station. You would? I do. I'll change it back to your station, but if you okay. play it, I... <laughs> hang on. Hang on a second. I'm just finding the song in our library. Hang on. No, hang on. Right. I found it. Crimson and Clover. <laughs> 
Okay, it's gone. Oh, thank you. And I have just made a complete mess of our studio. I can't believe you did that just for me. I think I just took one for the team. That's good. Hello, JT. Hi. You're having a great show today, buddy. Well, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, right on. Hey, uh, let's do it all the time. Calling from northern BC. Pick it up on the internet and play it continually, 24-7. Wow. <laughs> it's the only one I listen to, man. Hey, JT, you're looking for um, workout playlists? Motivational songs, the one song that makes you shake your booty. Let's get physical, Olivia Newton-John. Let's get physical. Come on, sing with me. Physical, physical. I want to get physical. <laughs> well, there's a 10 seconds of my life I'll never get back. <laughs> uh, how about L. Green, Lay It Down? Is that the song, then, that the husband will put on the record player to heat things up for a night of romance? No. No, I don't have... I used to have one of those, but I don't have one anymore. A record player or a husband? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's good. Hi, oh, good morning, JT, buddy. i got a question for you. I've kind of been driving in Refinery Row, and it, there's a kind of a green-yellow cloud that's forming out there. I was just wondering if you guys have heard anything about it or what's going on out there. Oh, you know what's happened? Russia's pushed the button. That's what's happened. <laughs> I'm just getting close to do it, and I'm thinking, well, I really don't know if I want to kind of drive through that or not. That don't look exactly healthy. Well, if, you, if your hair starts to fall out, you know why. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's falling out on its own. I don't need any more help. <laughs> How about TV dinner? Do they still make TV dinners? They do, only they're made out of plastic these days. They're not actually aluminum, but they're like the Hungry Man dinner. I believe the food is made of plastic as well. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Kapla Fam. Hi. Who's this? Oh, my God, it's Sharon. Sharon, are you sitting down? Oh, my God, thank you. Oh, I am sitting now. Well, Sharon, I, I haven't said anything yet. Oh, my God, please do. Am I nine? Would you love me do if I did? I would love you to death. You're car nine. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So. It, oh, my goodness. It's 100 bucks in your pocket, and you are the very last person oh. to get into that draw for a brand spanking new 2013 Ford Fusion. So. Oh my gosh, that's so wonderful. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. All right, so let's just pretend. Let's let's jump ahead next week, and I've just told you that you've won the car. How would you react? Oh my gosh, I love you. Love, love, do. Hi, I'm calling regarding this conversation you uh, had on the radio a few minutes ago about the lady in the UK who was asking her husband for divorce. <laughs> about Fifty Shades of Grey. It's an awesome book. I met so many other people on an airplane that were reading them. I was high-fiving the husbands who were high-fiving me back. <laughs> and my husband's very happy, yes. Are you married? I'm not. That's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> there are some lucky men out there. That's all I have to say. Are you saying that if I read the book, I'm going to be more adventurous? <laughs> <laughs> Do not avoid the book. Do not avoid the book anymore. <laughs> it's time to step out of the box. Pardon me? <laughs> Hey, good morning. I was thinking about what people should throw at a wedding. They should throw underwear. I what? mean, just think. It'll put everybody in mind of, you know, what's likely to happen later on that day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or they'll just think they're at Tom Jones's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you were asking people about the shaving. You know... I find shaving my legs to be just a complete pain and just one more thing. So if nobody cared, I honestly would just stop shaving them. I don't have a lot to shave on my legs, but I just consider it a complete pain in the neck. So, yeah, I would be happy to stop doing that if nobody cared. You're not married, are you? I know I'm not a married woman. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> oh, you see? That's my idea of a wilderness experience. <laughs> Well, I caught my husband cheating with my best friend. So I went home, packed up the house, packed up his boat, packed up all his toys, and I left him. Even the skidoo, which I never, ever used, his boat, which I never, ever liked, everything. And then I nailed him for 11 years alimony and divorced him. Okay, let me just, uh, let me just grab a pen here. Hang on a second. Note to self, never piss you off. <laughs> I got a response for your in-law situation. The bottom line is they didn't like me. <laughs> Why not? Primarily because I wasn't a farmer, I think. So oh. married a gal from a farm. I wasn't a farmer. Didn't fit into their 
plan of things. Do they like you now? Uh, they are long since gone. I'm retired, so. Oh. But I don't. I don't think they liked me right up to the end. <laughs> now, did you have anything to do with their disappearance? And not a thing. Okay. <laughs> we did the five uh, layer cake. Yeah. The fake one and a sheet cake to serve and save seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred bucks. Wow. And it was only a three hundred person wedding for cake. <laughs> Man. I tell you something, if it's costing 700 bucks for a seven-tier cake, the only tears you're going to see are, are the ones coming down my face. <laughs> Hi, Capital Fam. Hello. Oh, it, this isn't the song, is it? Uh, no. Okay. You know what? I'm so excited because it's the first time I've ever got the phone to ring. And I thought it has to be, it, it can't be this lucky. I know what's happened. With all that snow that we had yesterday, you thought it was Christmas, so you were dipping into the eggnog. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Let's dance. I'd, I'd save the dog first. My shit who swims like a rock. <laughs> all right. Uh, how would your wife feel about that? Uh, no, I, I got rid of her. You got rid of her? Yeah. <laughs> on a boat? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> you bought her a one-way ticket on the Titanic. That's That was that, you. That would have been nice. <laughs> but, yeah, I would save the dog first. What, was, he, uh, was he called in for questioning as well when the wife disappeared? No. <laughs> I would have to say light break. Oh, yeah. I loved it. Yeah, I mean, the toy that you got all those uh, multicolored pegs, then you'd push them into a, a design on the board, and then you'd flip the switch, and everything would just light up. Oh, totally, yeah. Yeah, make roosters and clowns and warm your hands up. <laughs> exactly. Hi, would it be getting stopped by a police officer? Have you done that before? No, I haven't. Oh, be honest. No, I haven't. You've never flirted with a cop? I have flirted with a police officer, but not when I got stopped. <laughs> ah, you see, the truth is coming out now. <laughs> when you were flirting with the cop, did this end with you wearing handcuffs? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you were saying that uh, you applauded Pamela Anderson's efforts for running in that marathon. I think when Pamela Anderson runs, she generates her own applause. <laughs> She's a very endowed lady. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the reason why 99% of the males in New York City were also able to finish the race. I think they were just chasing her. <laughs> How about the no no? <laughs> The no 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 removes embarrassing facial hair. That uh, that commercial is painful to watch, isn't it? <laughs> Especially when the woman comes on, she says, "I no longer have to shave my mustache." Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to buy it for my sister. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> you did not just say that. I did. <laughs> No love lost. Well, you wouldn't get fired from here for swearing. No, eh? No, just the... Where do you work? At the trucking company. I was going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm loud, too. <laughs> <laughs> when I was interviewed, it was like, do you mind? Like, they asked you. Like, you know, there's a lot of swearing going around. Did they also mention that some of the staff members might have a tendency to pick their noses or scratch their butt? Well, you know what? I sit downstairs, so I don't see a whole lot of people. But And then another place where I worked was in the oil industry, and the F-bomb word was every second word word there yeah but you you would never use the f-bomb would you i don't very rarely but sometimes i do <laughs> keep up the great work and f off <laughs> hi got a real simple way for you to save american idol get statler and waldorf from the muppet show to be the judges <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a great idea Let's just make it all Muppets. Yeah, why not? You know, let's pull in Kermit and Miss Piggy. I think that'd be very entertaining. Well, Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. Uh, yeah. I'm surprised but, nobody's really thought about that. A reality show with Muppets as judges. They can't do any worse. Oh, that was wonderful. Bravo. I loved that. Oh, it was great. Well, it was pretty good. Well, it wasn't bad. Well, there were parts of it that weren't very good, yeah, It could have been a lot better. Hi, what color am I? What's your name? Robin. Robin. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> my dog's excited. My kid's excited. Everybody's excited. You're caller nine. No! Oh, it's okay. We're looking for nine. Yes! <laughs> You've just won 250 bucks. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. 
But, but listen, Robin, there's more. You have just been entered into a draw for a seven-night all-inclusive package for two to Cancun, Mexico. Oh, my God, yes. To the Ocean Turquesa Resort. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. You got to slow down. I'm pregnant, too, so this might be a little too much. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Yeah, is this JT? Yes, hi. You're talking about mini skirts and older women, right? I am. Well, you know what? I know personally, I and it doesn't matter the age of women. They got a good looking leg, man. Wear the mini skirt, shorter the better, and you just gaze up and uh, take a look, see at the rest of it. To me, it shows the woman has confidence in herself and she knows what she's doing. There's nothing wrong with looking at a woman with great legs, providing you've got a good heart condition. Well, that's right. If you're a little weak up in the heart, then, uh, you know, forget looking at miniskirts, because uh, some of the ones on Saturday night on White Avenue are pretty short. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you doing on White Ave? <laughs> All right. Thanks good for- show, JT. Hi. I was just listening to your show here, and... Um, what really gets me is I, I like to suck on little candies. <laughs> okay. And I don't know if you remember, but we used to get like little jawbreakers and little tiny candies, like 10 for a penny. Mm-hmm. And I still buy them today. And I actually pay 10 cents a piece for them now. And it just frustrates me. You're just going to have to try and suck on something else. That's that's <laughs> the only... Oh, wait a minute. Okay. No. I won't even go there. Wait, wait My husband minute. will be happy to hear that answer. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't come out the way you were supposed to. <laughs> oh, man. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, I'd say hair on the soap. Hair on the soap. What, what type of hair are we talking about? Well, I don't want to get too graphic. <laughs> <laughs> We'll say dog hair. We'll say- <laughs> dog hair, eh? <laughs> are you telling me that you shower with your dog? <laughs> no. Well, there are there have been moments. There have been yeah. moments. <laughs> or, or do you shower with your pussy? Uh, no. <laughs> I know I, I, my cat died. <laughs> well, this uh, this conversation's gone off the rails, hasn't it? Oh, hasn't it? <laughs> Well, you've given me a good laugh for today. That's wonderful. It's been a wonderful thing. Well, I think what defines us as Canadians is our sense of community. We go through a really long winter. <laughs> we have no other choice but to be friendly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you when you have a family of seven that's living in an igloo, you kind of have to be friendly with each other, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> or out of it. And we also have the ability to say, I'm sorry. So definitely, for sure. Especially when the igloo starts to melt. <laughs> Listen, would you like to go to the Home and Garden Show? I would absolutely love to. Well, if you tell me why, I might set you up with some passes. Oh, because, well, let's see. My ex-husband and his new fiance bought a brand new house, and uh, I'd like to give them two tickets. And and me and my fiancé would love to go. Wait a minute. But back up the train here. I know. You, you want to give your ex-husband and his fiancé yes. two passes? Yes. You've got a heart of gold. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Is it okay that I make a fool of myself when I'm doing my show? Well, of course. Because everybody, everybody knows you. <laughs> You're hilarious. I listen to you every morning. I love your show. I love your show. In fact, I've switched over from listening to another station. Well, you know that uh, little Walmart thing you got there? Uh-huh. You know what? You know what? Really, boy? You never used to be open at Christmas time, like 24 hours a day? Every well, you still see it all the time, you know? But it's overweight chicks in flannel pajamas with the butt crack thing going on. <laughs> like, that is... Uh, yeah, I've seen that a lot. So that's what I'm looking for. It. <laughs> but holy Jesus, man, with slippers on. Doing their Christmas shopping at 2 in the morning. On, <laughs> on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, yeah. <laughs> you bet, yeah, Christmas Eve. Yeah, everybody in the family is getting beef jerky and Tide. <laughs> I just have had more than my share of seeing people's <laughs> back ends being exposed because they can't find pants that actually fit or they try to squeeze into things that just do not belong on them. <laughs> Oh, didn't you get the memo? It's called fashion. I don't know when it became fashionable to expose yourself. <laughs> I would make a killing on belts if I, if I sold them here in West Edmonton Mall at a oh, kiosk. No kidding. I mean, all it takes is that one notch, and uh, I think the world would be a happier and better place. <laughs>
you know? Yeah, good afternoon. Is this JT? Yes. I've been working warehouses, and I, I see a lot of butt crack, and I just tell everybody, wear a longer shirt. And then I was doing customer service work in, in people's homes, and I saw another young lady, and she was flashing really good crack. And I told her, you know, people don't have to see this. It's a, it's offending. And she says, oh, I didn't realize. And I says, tuck your shirt in, wear a longer shirt, and you will eliminate butt crack. <laughs> you might have just put the rest and put the final nail in the coffin of a dilemma that's been, uh, that so many people have suffered from for many, many years. Yeah, I really enjoy your show. It's fun to listen to. I'm with that lady on the butt crack, but you know what I fight the urge of? It's walking up and pulling their pants down. You'd pull their pants down? I would pull them all the way down and totally embarrass them. It's all making sense to me now. <laughs> I, I finally have clarity in my life. <laughs> we shouldn't call it butt crack. We should call it droopy diaper syndrome. Well, it is a family show. <laughs> Hi, Capital FM. Hi, what color am I? What's your name? Amanda. Amanda, you're nine. No. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. It sounds like you have a fan club. <laughs> My mom! <laughs> we were just joking because my birthday's coming up. So he said it would be an early birthday present if I won. It sounds like your mom's crying. <laughs> Pretty well, yeah. <laughs> Does she need to lie down? She... Mom, do you need to lie down? <laughs> She's falling on the ground now. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing the happy dance. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think she thinks that she's getting the money. No, no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't know what she thinks, but it's fine. <laughs> Listen to her. She's still going. <laughs> she's going insane. I'll never be your beast of bird. What I do, though, is when I'm upset with my husband, is I take something so important to him and I hide it where he can't find it till he goes crazy looking for it. What was the last thing you hid? His car keys. <laughs> And then I kind of, when he's busy looking for it, I just take them out of the hiding place and I'm the superhero. I thought superheroes were supposed to do good things. Have you ever let him wear your cape? Uh, no, <laughs> no, I haven't done that. Although I've stuffed his uh, donut with uh, chili paste one time. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing for kids is batteries not included. But for the parents, it's some assembly required. Some assembly required. <laughs> <laughs> One year with three boys, they didn't go to bed till 11 o'clock at night, and I had to put together three bicycles. I think it took me till 4 in the morning to get these three bikes together. That'll teach you for shopping at Ikea. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, you have a Merry Christmas and have a great day. Is it forgotten them somewhere? Uh, no. <laughs> Is there something you're not telling me? <laughs> Hang on a second. I'm just going to look at our list here. Uh, Edmonton's most wanted mothers. Oh, look at this. You're on the list. Yay, I made the list. There you go. <laughs> My kids are grown now. We'll be sending a cruiser car over to your house in about 10 minutes. Hi there. I'm just on uh, 99th Street and 34th Ave, and there's an ESO station here with a sign that I am sure hoping is wrong. The gas is saying 204.9. <laughs> oh, my God. When you first see it, <laughs> Did you heart stopping. I got my first real six string. My daughter, she is about to turn 12, and that's my number one rule, that she's not allowed to wear any, any word that was written across her ass until she moves out of my house. Remember the days when you used to get uh, the old ruler when you wore something inappropriate to school? Yes, oh, I, I still got ruler marks in my butt. <laughs> so that kind of went out, but I wasn't that bad at that age, so I was fortunate not to get that. <laughs> well, if you ever need a measurement, let me know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hi, my worst uh, job is washing windows, cleaning the windows. I love doing the windows. I'll do your windows for you. I will do the rest of your house. I love house cleaning, but I hate doing windows. We got a date. <laughs> I am. Just think of the fun we're going to have. <laughs> and don't even get me started about the Palmolive. <laughs> I, I might not even put the gloves on. <laughs> Oh, no, we better pace ourselves. I know. That's my mind's starting to wander. I know. I know. I'm, I'm having memories of my physical. You're talking about the tattoos incorporated into the body? Yes. <laughs> 
How can I explain? I have one on my private, and it says Wilma. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared to ask, but why Wilma? Well, because when I get excited, then it says, Welcome to Jamaica. <laughs> oh, That's as clean as I can make it, bud. Well, all I can say is you are more of a man than I will ever be. <laughs> About the tattoo, yes, Obama is absolutely right. Because I went out with a group of socializing, dancing, and they had pretend tattoos. And my son had wanted tattoos, and of course, I didn't want him to. So I got one of these on my chest, and I came home and said, wow, look at this. Don't I look cool? He goes, mom. I said, what do you mean? It's not really the neatest thing you ever saw. He goes, no. I said, well, you want tattoos? Why can't I have tattoos? He goes, because you're a mom. He never got any tattoos, ever. And also, I want to tell you how much I enjoy your show. I drive to work with you, and you make my day perfect. And I just love it. I love it all. (laughs) I just think you're great. Hi, it's funny. I'm listening to your station all the time, and you just happen to talk about women house cleaning when I'm cleaning. I do it for a living, but I'm a cleaning freak. My kids call me OCD. You know what gets me is that there are people that actually love cleaning in the nude. I mean, is that is that part of the uh, the secret passion for you ladies? <laughs> It's so liberating. Oh, that's extra. <laughs> oh, that's extra, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the small print on your contract, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. No wonder you draw the blinds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Kapla Fam. Hello. Hi, who's this? Hi, this is Joan. Joan? Yes? You're caller nine. No, I am? Yes. <laughs> Oh, thank you in this horrible weather day. <laughs> you know what, Joe? It gets a lot better, too, because we're going to put your name in that draw for the uh, trip to the uh, Dominican oh. Republic. Oh. oh, my gosh. I yeah. can't believe it. I've never even left the city. <laughs> yeah, that draw is coming up on Monday. You have a 1 in 10 chance to win. Oh, my gosh. Thank you ever so much. Let's hug. Okay. <laughs> I'm hugging. I'd ban most of them. <laughs> They're way overdone, and some of them are uh, so out of date. Like a uh, good king once was, mm-hmm. and like, it's a beautiful song. It goes back to the Middle Ages when the king controlled everything. You couldn't even hunt with a with a fear of being killed by the, the king's men, and you couldn't cut firewood for the fear of being killed by the king's men. You had to find branches that fell off of trees. You are a great storyteller. <laughs> Oh, thank you, little fella. Let me just fluff my pillow. <laughs> I'll get you the flashlight so you're not scared. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I've got all day to listen to you. <laughs> Grandma got run over by a reindeer. <laughs> yeah. I can't stand that song. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. <laughs> You know, I did an interview with him a few years back. He's actually quite an interesting fellow, but uh, yeah, I think he's had well over his 15 minutes of fame with that one. <laughs> For sure. Maybe he's the one who should have got run over by a reindeer. <laughs> Hi, JT. How are you? I just wanted to give you an update on Simon. You know, the, he's got the super tacky red floss Christmas tree <laughs> and I both hate. Uh, yes. They have purple mannequins. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, my God. I couldn't oh. believe it. Oh, my God. Back into therapy I go. <laughs> Guess what I'm looking at right now? I'm looking at a silver Christmas tree. The lights are on the inside. I love that. I yeah. think it's so pretty. Yeah. I'm going to go downstairs when nobody's looking. I'm going to bring it upstairs and put it right in the front of Simon's. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to put a tip jar right in front of it. I love it. Hey, I got a question for you. Uh, My office has been in turmoil because of a quiz you had a few days ago. Okay. What can 80% of 16-year-olds do in 1970 that only 20% can do now? And it's got your whole office in a frenzy, has it? Well, yeah, we, none of us heard the answer, and we've been all busting our brains trying to (laughs) figure out that, that quiz. Now... I know you have the answer somewhere, but yeah, it's not on your website. The, the answer is drive a stick shift. A standard transmission. You got so it. You, there you go. Okay, well, that makes perfect sense. My, my whole office is going to... Actually, somebody said something about driving, so we, we, we all threw money in the hat, <laughs> so there, there could be a winner. <laughs> hey, do I get some of the residuals from that money? Well, you send me an invoice and we'll see what we can do. <laughs>
Hey, keep playing the good music. It's great. I watched the the movie Christine. You didn't even need a speaker to see that at a drive-in theater. What do you know about that car? I know that the guy who owned the car before, Arnie, his daughter choked to death in Christine. That was the uh, horror movie, wasn't it? Yeah, that was about the car, a freaky car that always came back. Right, not to be confused with the horror movie. <laughs> no, oh no, not that, yeah, not Christine the whore. Oh. Christine the whore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a bad accident. It's involving a truck moving a house and a uh, van it's, uh, down to one lane. Oh, man, I knew I should have called movers. Well, you should have. You don't just hire, you know, the anyone. you got to check out the professionals. Uh, I know. That's the last time I go into Kijiji. There you go. <laughs> hey, you're, ca- you're wanting some uh, parking lot keys? Well, I drive a very small, compact car. And it doesn't matter how far away I park from a store, I will come out and there will be two of the biggest pickup trucks on either side of my car. And I have no way of seeing my way out of that parking stall. I don't know why they can't have small car parking lot designations for us little guys. They do. It's where you you pick up your trolley, your your shopping cart. Oh, (laughs) okay. I'm going to do that next time. Yeah, just make sure you have a loony. I love your topic. Thank you. You have no idea how many times I curse and swear drivers in this city. Absolutely. And then, of course, by 2020, all vehicles are going to have the uh, the dash cams. That's what I heard. And yeah. that, that even scares me more. Can you imagine if dash cams were around during the days of the drive-in theater? <laughs> <laughs> that would kill me. Hey, how's it going? I'm good. So I'm driving along the Anthony Hende, and I'm laughing about your Android and your iPhone use. Cloud? Seriously? I haven't had the, heard that word since the 70s, buddy. <laughs> you made me almost pee myself on the Hende. <laughs> you are such an amazing guy and such an asset to this radio station. You rock, my friend. Honest to God, you make people smile. I want to tell you, I love your show, love your music, and the first thing I do when I get home from work, put on a t-shirt and a pair of shorts. And that's it until I go to bed. Yeah, it just, you know, it feels good to uh, shed the clothes and oh, yeah. know, and be free with life. Right. You know what's even more fun is when you get home and instead of putting your shorts and t-shirt on, you put your wife's clothes on. Kids, I never tried that. Try it. It's lots of fun. Ah. Especially when ice cream is involved. Try to get into the wrong vehicle. <laughs> yeah. You're driving me crazy. I had somebody do that to my car about a week ago. Oh, yeah, and you're sitting in there. <laughs> I was actually sitting outside, and they, they opened the back door, and they were putting bags into my back seat. <laughs> And it's oh like, my goodness. I said, Christmas has come early. This is wonderful. Yes. God, I love you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Your perfect husband looking at porn. <laughs> oh, that just rolled off the tongue for you, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> oh, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I would just love to see what you've got between your mattresses right now. <laughs> Hi! Who's this? Oh, Stacy! Can I call her nine? Make my day. What's going to happen if I say call her nine? I am going to come down to that radio station and give you a big kiss right now. Well, you don't, <laughs> yeah, you don't have to do that, but you are caller nine. Yes, so, I am so happy you wouldn't believe it. So you better open your purse because I'm ready to throw 250 bucks into it. Thank you very much. You just made my day. So how are you going to spend the money? Oh, how am I going to spend the money? I'm going to I'm gonna put it towards a trip. Well, if you really think about it, that could buy a lot of lipstick for you to pucker up to kiss me. <laughs> okay, whatever works. I expect only the best stuff. You know that. Yes, I know you do. That's why I listen to you every day. <laughs> hey, listen. Faithfully. Hello. Just listening to the radio and I had to giggle because I'm a wife of 33 years and I'm a (laughs) (laughs) mother-in-law. And I don't know that it bothered me at 20 years or 23 years, but it probably did at three years. But Mm. now that I'm older, it's out of respect (laughs) to let the old lady sit where she wants. And me being the old lady now, I like the back seat, but my mother-in-law has always sat in the front. (laughs) She she gets the seniority, does she? Well, you know what? I think it's, it's out of respect, right? You let 
lets the older people sit where they want. We push my mom in the front seat because it's too hard to get her in and out of the back. So <laughs> I just had a giggle when I heard that because that oh, there's somebody else who notices. But. Well, Queen Elizabeth always sits in the back seat. Well, and, and you know what? My husband drives fancy cars, and that's what he always has said to his mom. But she uh. likes to sit in the front seat it's so all- she can tell everybody where to go, right? <laughs> So we, I thought that was really, really cute. Thank you for the giggle. It was great. So what is the one chick flick that you both agree on? Funny you should ask that. Our favorite is Princess Bride. <laughs> and so now whenever I say, like, I want him to do something, he used to say, yes, dear, and he used to piss me off. <laughs> now he says, as you wish. Wow. I I know who wears the shoes in your house. <laughs> so. you, know, you know the one that uh, does it for me is Notting Hill. I'm also just a girl. Standing in front of a boy, asking him to love her. Really? I got pissed off with uh, (laughs) Julia Roberts. Seriously. The way she turned on him, it just pissed me off. (laughs) You just get pissed off a lot, don't you? (laughs) Remind me never to piss you off. (laughs) Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Hi, is this the song of the day? (laughs) Uh, No, it's not. No, I thought it would be around 2 o'clock and I've been trying. Yes, yeah, so how are you doing today? Oh, I got a broken hip, so I'm just trying to rest up in bed. Have you been sweating to the oldies again? <laughs> I love your radio station, so I, I dance a lot, so that's probably why I threw my hip out. <laughs> this, this radio station does come with a warning with the music. you got to be careful. That's right. You're super on the radio station. I really enjoy listening to you. I think they should do that worldwide. Why are they just being prejudiced with one airline? I think they should do that worldwide. That's a good start for everybody. All right, so so you wouldn't mind then if, say, Air Canada and WestJet adopted the same policy? Everybody. <laughs> everybody. Pay for the pound? Pay for. Look at Stephen Harper would have to pay. How much would he have to pay? Do you, do you think Stephen Harper's overweight? Do you? Not really. I don't know. <laughs> if you see him opening up his mouth, he's usually got <laughs> coming in or out of it, or he's stuffing food next. <laughs> I'm tweaking that, little porker, anyway. Hi. Diving into the swimming pool and coming back up and you lost your top. Oh, I hate when I lose my top. (laughs) I do. Have you seen my moves? (laughs) No. I'll send you the 8x10 glossy. Can you open this container jar for me? Yeah, I think I'll accept that. Open a jar? Sure. Who's this? It's Sherry. So, have you had lots of people in the kitchen ask you to open jars? Yeah, and I'm the one who has the smallest hands, but I get to do it. <laughs> I just always go for the rubber glove. That always seems to work. Yeah, I have one of those rubber things now, too. We're still talking about the glove, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was listening to your thing about the online dating. Yes. Yeah, I met my husband online. Which site? Uh, plenty of fish. This seems to be a very popular site. I think so. I did try some others, and I found them a little ewy. So, yeah, I went and I stuck with plenty of fish, and I had to go through, you know, a few fish first, and then I found the man I married. So when you say ooey about the other sites, what, what made them ooey? Well, just there was too many nude pictures and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. The high- <laughs> Hi there. Um, I was just going to mention that um, I own a business, and I have young staff that work for me. And I'm always asking them to get the ghetto blaster. (laughs) And they have no idea what I'm talking about. (laughs) (laughs) I used to have the ghetto blaster. Remember the uh, the ghetto blasters that used to have the speakers that would come off? Yeah, I still have one. (laughs) And they, uh, they used to have the dual cassettes. Exactly right, yeah. I know. And every week I used to record uh, the Rick D's Weekly Top 40. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and look and look where I am now. <laughs> exactly. That's right. It worked out good for you. <laughs> yeah, it's come, come full circle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Your caller, nine. Are you freaking serious? I'm freaking serious. <laughs> oh, my God. 250 bucks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This could not have come in such a good time. Oh, Lord. Thank you so much. And me and my daughter are big fans of yours, so we listen all the time anyway. <laughs> Good morning. You want to know what I would call a holiday for me? My day. My day. And you do, you think you deserve a my day, do you? I deserve one every day. <laughs> you know what my day would be called? It would be called Hug a Radio DJ Day. I would just stand in the center court of West Edmonton Mall and let anybody hug me. <laughs> that 
that would be an interesting day. And that would be the only day that I showered. <laughs> you bet. Hi, I just, uh, I'm just a listener, a long-time listener, and I just had a question for you. I notice sometimes in the mornings they flip over to Rick D's. I turn the him off whenever they do that, and I was just curious why they don't just have you in all the time. Oh, me, me personally? Yeah. You like my show? I do. <laughs> you're like, you're part of it, right? Like, you, the three of you flow together. Like, it's just a, a logical extension. And I'm just curious why they would ever go to, like, a canned American guy when they can deal with some guy local in the city who's got his fingers on what's going on. Sergeant Peppers. No. Imagine. No. Oh. No. <laughs> this is fun, though. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to I see if you can give me the entire Beatles collection. <laughs> Yeah. I've got all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> as long as you allow me a bathroom break, we'll be fine. Oh, okay, there you go. Sounds good. <laughs> I think it depends on the age of the kids. The younger the kids are, the smarter you are. As the kids get older, the dumber you feel. Because <laughs> I've been there, done that. <laughs> There's nothing like spoiling the grandkids and sending them back home. You know what's a lot more fun? Is hmm. uh, spoiling a radio DJ. Oh. Like with what? Apple pie? Apple pie works fine. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Hi. I was listening to your program this morning about the question you're asking that women would like the most in a relationship. In terms of intimacy, yes. Yes, and I believe it's respect. You're close. I mean, all I think everybody, both sexes want respect, do they not? Totally, totally. But when it comes to the women, though, this this does it more than anything else. Well, I tell you, I'm looking forward to the comment that someone calls in and hits the button because uh, I really like your program and I really want to see what this one is. I know another one that the kids nowadays don't know what it is. Okay. Two bits. Two bits? A quarter. We used to call the quarter two bits. Wow. Now, let's make one thing clear. I am not a young pup, but I do not remember that. Okay. You're probably going to say next that your name is Eve and that you used to date a, a boy by the name of Adam. <laughs> so you were saying it's uh, such a nice day. You were out of the city and you could see how hazy it is today and you can smell it. You can actually smell it. The air quality index is like seven. So you're not seeing the geese. No, I'm not seeing the geese. <laughs> <laughs> But I am seeing the haze. Maybe that haze is just from the geese themselves from stopping at Taco Bell on their way up here. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I, and you know what? And I know everybody says this, but I really, I, all you guys are all I listen to. So, and you are always the most happy, upbeat guy. Me? And, yes. You like and my you show? I, oh, I do. I really do. Like you, you, you're very good at what you do. Thank you so much. You see, you've made my day. Well, that's great. That makes me happy. Baby, I'm amazed the way you love me all the time. 